YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Okay, I'm just here in my studio and office or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going over the uh, some are, um, comments here on this one. The top 10 reasons why I left Vancouver. And one reason that got a lot of people hyped up and a lot of comments were put and a lot of people were just non-stop talking about was number six. Number six, number six, number six. And let me explain to you what number six was. Top 10 reasons why I love Vancouver. And number six was entitlement. And I've made quite a few entitlement. Search my channel for entitlement videos. You'll see what I'm talking about. I've made a lot of entitlement videos. And entitlement is, um, I think it's um, a disease or a sickness that people believe that they're entitled or they should be given or special treatment or and or um, wanting of things that they didn't work for. Um, so it, it's really, really bad. Uh, one of the things I've noticed that what, uh, living in the city that I've noticed, I don't know how many other cities have this sickness. Uh, I did create a Facebook page, guys. I'm going to leave a link below on this on this video. Uh, and it's called, I made this page years ago. And it's really funny. It's got some funny jokes in it. It's really nice. It's called uh, Vancouver Entitlement City. And go ahead and look at it. It's kind of a little, it's a little genius page I made. It's kind of, a lot of people saw it and they're like, wow, that's so genius. It's so true. It's so relevant. It's so like Family Guy. It's so politi It's so unpolitically correct, you know, just like Family Guy is. So check it out. I'll leave a link below. It's called um, Vancouver Entitlement City. Anyways, entitlement was a big one in this video. And, and um, I, I'm, I'm feeling, like I'm really feeling, uh, I'm so happy I'm, I'm alleviated of this. You don't feel it here. And you don't, like, I don't know if I'm trying to placebo fix myself thinking I've made the right decision by moving to a small town and everything's been fixed. And that placebo effect is kicking in and everything's coming into place. Or it's for real. It's really happening. There's no people going around here entitled. You don't have really bad drivers that, did, that oh, I'm going through red light because it's me. Oh, I'm talking on my phone. It's me. It's okay. It's only me, you know, that kind of stuff. So, okay. Now, I found an article here. Um, I want to show this to you guys. And it's not really an article, it's someone's comment. And it says here, During the 1980s, when money was far easier to come by and there was no war against terror, we became a spoiled nation. Parents gave their children what they felt they wished they would have when they were growing up, but their parents couldn't afford it. Perhaps their parents wanted them to appreciate the things they received. But for some reason... These folks grew up and started spoiling their children. So it's my generation now and my kids, right? They gave us lots of praise and positive reinforcement. And soon the thought of spanking or even a tough word or two was considered possible abuse. The schools lost their ability to properly discipline children and parents sought to become friends with their children. You see, um, when I was in school, I got the straps. I got strapped in the hands really bad many times for doing things, doing bad things. And I got disciplined for it, and I learned. Often, as a way to win the war, uh, the war going on in their own divorce court for the children's affection, children were given too much power and learned how to control adults. Today... It is out of control as even teachers are no longer role models for what they preach when they are caught uh, cheating on tests and when the local headlines for improper behavior after hours. The lines between adult and child have been blurred beyond recognition. Parents have needs they seek to be met via their children and the children are expected to act as adults, dress like adults, and behave like adults far too young. Children, uh, hold on. Children are not, are not safe to go outside and play, so they stay inside where they 
where they are further influenced by television, which is all about consume, consume, consume. All these things you deserve or, or should want if you are cool. Parents uh, who do not wish to stand in the way of their children's chance of reputation at school that might be better than what their own reputation once was will sacrifice their own, need, their own needs in order to buy things for their children. We substitute money and purchasing things for love because of so many of us do not know what real love is ourselves. And this is much easier to give money often than it is to give real love and concern. That's why taxpayers always vote yes on education taxes, even if they are against any other kind. They know the schools and the kids are in trouble, but they don't really want to get involved. They think money will solve the problems and relieve their guilty consciousness. They give money what all of us need no matter what age, is more love, compassion, understanding. If we would give, perhaps we would stop focusing so much on what we deserve and start realizing what others deserve from us. Such is life. So, yeah, I just wanted to put this out there. It's a really good comment here. And a lot of my comments get flagged on my videos, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why they think it's spam and it won't let me uh, approve it. I don't have the ability to approve my the comments on my page and it's frustrating. I used to be able to go in and look at the in review. There are comments awaiting approval and it's really hard uh, to not being able to approve comments. I hate it. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this topic. It's a uh, Entitlement is a big deal. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's in other countries is a little bit different how people, um, everyone there is entitled, I guess, in other countries. And then when they immigrate here, the entitlement level is enormous by everybody. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really want you guys to comment on this and let me know. Because apparently uh, when I did the top 10 reasons why I left the city of Vancouver... It struck a chord with many people when they when they found when they, when I mentioned entitlement and you know and 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 I opened my shop when I opened my business in Vancouver and I still have it and it's doing well. It's because I want to bring people together. That's why I want to sell games, board games, and, and not electronics, board games, RPGs, dice, deck boxes, sleeves, uh, magic cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, all that stuff. Why? Because it brings human beings together and interact with other human beings. And that's what my that's my mission in Vancouver is to fight the good fight and just get people together and that's something I always want you know I I really want to do in life you know anyways let me know what you guys think comment below uh, comments are much appreciated and that's what brings integrity to this this, uh, this channel uh, has really strong integrity uh, with the comment section and it keeps a good flow of people discussing ideas and why things are could it be old country mentality, bringing in entitlements? Could it be class, different classes of people where I'm I'm high class and you're low class and I have to act a certain way around you. I cannot show weakness to you and I have to look at you like this every time you look at me. I don't know, like, I don't know guys. Let me know, comment below. Uh, your comments are much appreciated. Thanks for watching guys, bye.